my name's Wash Rasmund. Thank you so much for coming tonight. I've been to this theatre many times to see many films here, and it's a great thrill to have my own film on the screen tonight, Colette. It's been a, a long journey to get this film made. The first draft was written in 2001 by my co-director, co-writer and late husband, Richard Glatzer. And it took 16 years, over 15 drafts, three title changes, a couple of false starts to get it made. We did three other films during that time, but Colette was always our dream project. So for anyone out there who is working on something and it's taking longer than you want, my advice is never say die. In 2011, Richard developed a lisp in his speech that on further investigation turned out to be ALS. Rather than retreating into self-pity and depression, he spent the last few years of his life hell-bent on making movies, the last one of which was Still Alice. He wasn't able to get around much by the time the film was completed and watched a lot of the screenings and Q&As on the FaceTime with like a volunteer with an iPhone, um, but he always would want to watch the audience reactions. And we actually watched the 2015 Oscars from the ICU at Cedar sinai It did not stop us and our friends from smuggling in champagne and celebrating when Julianne was giving her due. We cheered so loud that actually some medical orderlies thought there was like a, an emergency and came running down the corridor. <laughs> Uh, but it was a great night and uh, afterwards I asked him what he wanted to do next and though he was almost completely paralysed and he was typing with his big toe on a special machine he typed C-O-L-E-T-T-E -T -T -E. it was Colette mm -hmm. a few days later he passed and so I knew what I had to do so some scripts when you've had them for a few years can gather dust and start to feel that they are no longer in touch with the times. But with Colette, it was the opposite. Her characteristically fearless approach to gender and sexuality has made the story more current with every passing year. And with the recent Me Too and Time's Up movements, it has found extraordinary historical parallels. Along the way, many amazing people came to work on this project with me. My co-writer, Rebecca Lenkowitz, my legendary producers who I'd like to bring up tonight, uh, Christine Vachon, <laughs> Pam Coffler, <laughs> Stephen Woolley, and Gary Michael Walters. And we also have a person who brought everything to this new incarnation of Colette, an incredible actress and a wonderful person, the brave and brilliant Miss Kira Knightley. Thank you so much and enjoy the show.